puberty, usually around ages 11 to 14, and menopause, around age 51, the body prepares for a possible pregnancy. The lining of the uterus thickens to create a nourishing space for a fertilized egg, while an egg grows and is released from one of the ovaries. If the egg isn't fertilized, levels of the hormones estrogen and progesterone drop. This hormonal change tells the body that pregnancy didn't happen. As a result, the uterine lining breaks down and leaves the body through the vagina, along with some blood. That's what we call a period. On average, a person loses about 2 to 3 tablespoons of blood during their period. The entire menstrual cycle, from the first day of one period to the first day of the next, typically lasts about 28 days, though it can range from 21 to 35 days. Bleeding usually lasts 4 to 5 days, but longer or shorter cycles can still be completely normal. So, why does this happen every month? Because it's the body's natural way of releasing tissue it no longer needs and resetting for a new cycle. Every month, the body builds up the uterus in case of pregnancy, and if pregnancy doesn't occur, it safely clears it out and starts again. Not all women have periods, though. To have regular cycles, the hypothalamus, pituitary gland, ovaries, and uterus all need to function properly. In short, periods are a sign of a healthy reproductive system. Subscribe for more.